This is the fascinating story of Lady Dorothy Clayton East, who lived at Hall Place in the 1930s. She was born Dorothy Durrett on the 26th of September 1906. Her parents were the Reverend Arthur Durren and his wife Alice. Dorothy was the youngest sister of Enid, Lorna and Michael. Dorothy enjoyed a privileged lifestyle and she had a famous ancestor, Elizabeth Fry, the prison ward reformer of the 1700s. Betty Thomas described Dorothy as a lively lass who was very bright and adventurous. She would continue to be adventurous all her life. Not much else was known about Lady Dorothy until later on in her life. But because the papers reported gossip and scandal, much like today, we know a little about Dorothy's sisters. Sister Lorne began a doomed romance with a man her father did not like. Lorne ended up in a sanatorium, possibly after a breakdown. This is a scandal for the world to do, family, and it was in the national papers. Dorothy's other sister, Enid, was an artist. She married the wealthy Charles Hazelden Moore in 1920, but the marriage did not last. Enid divorced Charles and went to live in France with an artist. Divorce was a terrible sin, sin in those days, and it stained the family's reputation. Once more, the Durrant family was in the papers for the wrong reasons. Both sisters cause a scandal, but what about Dorothy? By the early 1930s, Dorothy had become a talented sculptress. She had a studio in London and specialised in glass and plaster work. She met Sir Robert Clayton East on an ocean voyage. He was a lieutenant in the Royal Navy and then joined the RAF. Dorothy married Sir Robert on leap year day 29th of February 1932 in London. Her father was pleased, as for once the family was in the paper for a good reason. Soon after they were married, Sir Robert travelled to Egypt to explore the pyramids and tombs. Mysteriously, he, he and his party went missing for two days. Who knows what happened to him out there? But sadness was only weeks away. In September 1932, only five months after the wedding, Sir Roberts collapsed. He died of an infection. The doctors said he must have caught an Egypt. He was just 25 years old. A few months after Sir Robert's death, Lady Dorothy set out to continue his travels. I am only carrying on my husband's work. We always did this sort of work together. He left with his work unfinished. I want to try and finish it off. Dorothy was a pilot and she flew herself to Cairo in Egypt. She travelled for four months, but the trip failed. Dorothy didn't plan to hang around. After coming back from Egypt, she made plans to trek across Lap- Lapland and to lecture for the Royal Geographical Society. But her plans were to remain unfinished, just like her husband. On the 15th of September, Lady Dorothy travelled to Brooklands Airfield and boarded her Spartan aeroplane. It appears, reported Flight Magazine, that as she was about to take off, Lady Clayton climbed onto the edge of the cockpit and dropped out onto the aerodrome. Her injuries were fatal and she died of a fatra to the head. But that's not the end of the story. At the inquest it was said that she was a very good pilot and although the control lever had been broken off, she could have stopped the engine by switching it off. Heavens knows why she didn't do it. Mystery and intrigue surrounds Lady Dorothy's last year and and a death, and we may never know the true story. 
What we do know is that she was an adventurous, intelligent, beautiful, talented person. Who made sure she did her best at everything and made her parents proud. 